Hi everybody and welcome to this week's video of RBX Excel videos. In this video we are going to create a beautiful waffle chart which looks great on your dashboards or your presentations. If you like the video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to see a lot more of my Excel videos. Please enjoy. So in this video we are creating this beautiful waffle chart which will look beautiful on your dashboard or your presentation. So you can see there is a target and a percentage complete. When the percentage complete is higher than our target, our squares are green. When I change it to, for example, 62%, you see my squares are red. There's a label in the chart which indicates the percentage complete. And I'm gonna show you how to create this beautiful waffle chart. Well, first we need a grid from 10 by 10, so we get 100 squares. 100 squares is enough in this case because I'm working with a percentage. When you want to have more squares, it's also possible. Well, in this case, I need a grid from 10 by 10. And I need the numbers 1 till 100 in the 100 cells. So I can type all the numbers by hand, but there's a trick with the sequence function I'm going to show you. And I'm just going to type equal sign sequence. And I want 10 rows and 10 columns. So I have 100 squares in total. I'm going to close my sequence function, press enter, and you see I have my numbers. Actually, we want to have the 1 here and the 100 in here. So I'm going to adjust my sequence function. I'm going to add a sort function in it. So I'm going to sort. The array is the sequence function. The sort index is the first column. And the sort order is minus 1 for a descending order. Close your function. Press enter and you see it's changed to the 1 in here and the 100 in here. Well, while we are working with percentages, these numbers will not work. Well, 62% is actually 0 0.62. So actually we need to divide all the numbers by a 100. So I can adjust my sequence function for that. After my sequence function, I'm going to type divide by 100. Press enter. And you see I have my numbers from 0 0.01 until 1. Well, this will work with the percentages we are working with. So the next thing we need to do is adjust our column width. Well, the row height here is 18 pixels. So I'm going to adjust the column width also to a 18 pixels. So we have nice squares. Well, now we have to apply the conditional formatting. I'm going to select all my cells. Click conditional formatting, click new rule, and I want to use a function, a formula to determine which cells to format. Well, we need two rules for this conditional formatting, because in the one case we need to color the squares red, and in the other case we need to color it green. So the first one I'm going to make is the green one, and we need two conditions for that, because the percentage complete needs to be higher or equal to our target, and the cell value needs to be less than the percentage complete. So I'm going to type equal sign and I'm using the AND function to combine two conditions in one formula. The first condition is that our percentage complete needs to be higher or equal to our target. The next condition is that our cell value, just click this cell and I'm not going to fix that, so remove the dollar signs, needs to be lower or equal than our percentage complete. Close our formula. I'm going to set the background color to light green. Click OK. Click OK again. And you see there's nothing changed because our percentage complete is lower than our target. So when we change this one to, for example, an 81, I see my colors are green in my grid. So let's make the rule for the red squares. Just select your square again. Click conditional formatting and say new rule. Again, use a formula. And again, we're using the AND function to combine two conditions. The first condition is that our percentage complete is lower than our target. The second condition is that our cell value, and again, I'm not going to fix this one, needs to be lower or equal to our percentage complete. Close my function, and I'm going to format this with the red color, red-orange color. Click OK, click OK again, and now we're going to test this one. I'm going to type 62% and you see it becomes red. Well, you see I have all my numbers in here. 
Well, we want to remove the numbers from the cells, just like in our example. Well, there are multiple ways to do that. We can change the color of the numbers to the same color as the background. When you change the color of the text to white and you adjust your conditional formatting rule, you can do it that way. But there's another way when you just select all your cells, press Ctrl 1 to go to the Format Cells menu. We are going to use a custom number format. And we are just typing three times a semicolon. So there's nothing shown in my cell. You can see the actual function is in the cell, but it's not visible due to our custom number format. Well, we need to do some other things like uh, adding the grid lines to it. I'm going to select my square. I'm going to format my cells and I want a nice dark blue thick border on the outline. And I want a normal border in the color white on my inside. Just click OK. And you see I have my grid lines in here. Well, we are not seeing the white grid lines. So we are going to change the background color to a light gray color. So now it's visible. Well, you see, we need one more thing to do, which is the data label in here. Let me show you how to add the data label in your chart. Just go to your insert tab on the ribbon, insert a shape, a rectangular shape is OK. I'm going to set it here. And I'm going to type in my formula bar an equal sign to my percentage complete and just press enter. Well, I'm going to format this, go to your home tab. I'm going to format this in the middle of our text box. I'm going to adjust the color to a dark blue. I'm going to make it bold, a little bit bigger. And I'm going to go to my shape format. The shape fill, I want no fill. And the shape outline, I want also no outline. I can move this around. And you see it's dynamic because when I change this one to an 85%, it changes to an 85%. So that's the way you can create this beautiful waffle chart in Excel, only using conditional formatting. So now you can make your own waffle chart in Excel only using conditional formatting. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did so, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to watch more of my videos. Thanks for watching.